First at noon on this Friday, New England continues to fight COVID-19. Good afternoon, I'm Patrick Little. Two big new locations opening in Rhode Island to get people vaccinated in droves. Thousands more new vaccine appointments are becoming available today. 12 News reporter Brandon Truitt is in Woonsocket at one of those new mass vaccination sites with more. Well, Patrick, 9,000 appointments are going to be released tonight at 5. These are for Rhode Island's mass vaccination sites, except for the location in downtown Providence at the Dunkin Donut Center. Here in Woonsocket, though, they are really set up and ready for launch. This location at the Old Sears giving out its first shots on Sunday. So this location will give out about 400 doses on day one. I'm working to see if that number will go up now that more appointments are being released. Tomorrow, the location in South Kingstown will open as well. Both of these new mass vaccination sites will operate just one day a week for now. So let's be very clear here. Right now, the state is vaccinating those 60 and older, along with anyone 16 and older with underlying health conditions. Mark your calendars, though, because eligibility is going to expand to those 50 and older by April 5th, 40 and older the week after that, and eligibility expands to everyone over 16 in Rhode Island by April 19th. Just yesterday, the state announced a new pre registration link. This gives you two different ways to sign up for a shot at a mass vaccination site. So starting on April 5th, when appointments are released, half of them are going to go to those on that pre registration list and the other half are going to come from the traditional sign up system. So the state had originally planned to release about 2500 appointments today. Again, they more than tripled that number 9000 to be released tonight at 5 p.m. I'm working to figure out where those extra appointments came from and where they're going to be going. What locations might you have a better chance of getting a shot. I hope to have that information for you ahead at four o'clock. For now, live in Woonsocket, Brandon Truett, 12 News.